an environmental consultant um, and that provides both consultancy services as well as training uh, to our members and customers. We've got to make sure that the people that are going to be environmental managers now and in the future understand the business they work for and how they can add value to the business. There's been a recent shift in environmental training. It still covers the traditional sense of environment. We would take somebody who was an environmental professional, give them the necessary skills they needed to be to perhaps manage the environmental management system or the environmental performance or an environmental permit on one of their sites. So that'd be very technical based, a lot of legislation in there about ISO 14001 environmental management systems. The advice we would give about the right approach to environmental training would be to understand what the competency requirements of the organisation and you can only understand the competency requirements of the organisation if you understand what the goals in terms of environmental management are for the organisation. What we can do is actually then look at those objectives, what the organisation wants to achieve and then establish competency requirements around that. And from that we can then look at the training courses that are most relevant to those competency requirements as well as advising the organisation to be able to deliver some of their own training, their own awareness, and so it's a joined up approach between us and the customer. One of the things that people see with environmental training, and one of the problems I see is people just tick a box when it comes to environmental training. They've got an ISO 14001 audit, or somebody's coming into, or one of the regulators is coming in to do an audit of their environmental permit, and they think we'll go get some training, we can show some certificates and everyone, everyone's happy. That to me is, you know, it's not getting good value for your training. And what we've got to do is, yes, you've got to show that you've got competent people on, in place to actually meet the regulations and the requirement, the legislation. But in addition to that, these people can really deliver value to the organisation. <laughs>